You are watching Endeavor TV, and um, we have a HP Mini 210 here in our picture. I'm going to show you some tests now, and let's start off with a um, YouTube video. Let me just go to YouTube and demonstrate to you how it plays the regular video and maybe an HD. But you shouldn't expect something too promising. Um, with HD because the new Atom processor just um, uses less power but it isn't actually, actually faster so even though a lot of people say it has a 20% um, performance gain it really doesn't so let's start off first with the HD video as you can see it is really really um, lacking on speed it's like two frames per second or not even one when I turn this off if I can turn it off there we go when I turn it off it plays really really smooth turn off this ad here and then you can watch your cute kittens for about seven to eight hours with one charge of the six cell battery Another really nice thing with the HP Mini is it has a multi touch pad here, so you can just scroll with two buttons. Uh, actually, let me make this bigger, then we can scroll. So you can just scroll with your two fingers, and yeah, as I showed, you can zoom in and out. You have all the other neat options. And let's go on with a standard DivX uh, 720p and 1080p video test. Of course, the DivX movie plays really well. If it opens, it takes a bit. So I have the volume turned off right now. If I turn it on, come on. There we go. And turn it up. Yeah, sometimes the buttons don't work. I don't know exactly why, but yeah, it's all the way up there. But there we go. This is a Dubix movie. Yeah. So the audio, it has two speakers right here, is really on the front, it plays really, really well. The viewing angle isn't that great, because as you can see from the front, the colors are okay. But if you go on the left already, just about 30 degrees, it's not that great. To the right, of course, the same. If you look at it from the top, it changes really fast also. And from the bottom, you just... It's even worse. It's all already like you only have to change it a little bit and you can't see anything. Yeah. It's really horrible. Yeah, so let's go on with the 720p video. Yeah, sometimes the mouse, because it's multi touch, it jumps from the one end to the other end. Because you have both your fingers always on here because the mouse buttons are integrated here. So, it doesn't always work that great. So, this is a 720p video now, and as you can see, there's a lot of movement in the picture, but everything plays smooth. It plays smooth with no problem. The same scene in this 1080p video of this Big Bug Bunny movie uses more than a hundred percent of the CPU. This was about 70 percent. You can check it in the German video. So play the same thing in 1080p. It's really really slow and the audio isn't even right. So you shouldn't try playing high def material on your 700 on your 210 mini from HP but you can buy it with a Broadcom HD accelerator and then this shouldn't be a problem either. If we try Photoshop, it has a little bit of an improvement um, compared to the uh, improved compared to the Atom with the N Atom N270. Even though this only has one gigs of RAM, also I can edit my five megapixel um, pictures which I have on the desktop here. 
I'm way better. But I'm not sure how many of you are going to use Photoshop on your um, netbooks, but why not? So, this is a 5 megapixel picture. Let me just cut out myself and move it a little bit around. Oops. There, then you can see it's not that fast, but make sure you can work with it. And if you just draw something in here, it's a lot faster than with the Atom N270. Or just use the smudge, go up, oh no, like here, and then smudge the picture. It has to lo it has to load a little bit, but it's a it's it's maybe a little bit faster, but not that much. So let's go on to my last test, which is Counter-Strike. And while that loads, um, I'll show you around the device. So we have the keyboard here. This is a European keyboard, so that's why it's QWERTY, it's not QWERTY. But these buttons should be the same in America and the UK too. So you can see we need the FN button to use the F1 to F11 keys. And for the ports, Oh, and another inter uh, interesting thing is with the caps lock, um, for example, you have an LED here that shows you the status. And for the audio, you have an LED here too. It turns orange. And for the wireless, you have a really bright white light too. So on the left side, we have... Um, where is it there? We have one multi... Um, multi-audio port, then a USB 2.0, the status for the LED, which is glowing right now because it's loading Counter-Strike, then the standard fan output, uh, VGA out, and the uh, power out. This is actually the power cord here. On the back we have the battery. But I showed you that on the other side. Here we have the speakers, of course. And then we have a multi-card reader which supports SD, XD and memory stick by Sony. Then we have the power switch, um, another fan port and two USB, 100, uh, 1000 megabit um, LAN port, Kensington. And on the back we have the 6R battery which sticks out a little bit. And if you want to see the back we have the red version right here. The really nice HP logo. But let's play a little bit Counter Strike now. I don't have an external mouse, but maybe I can hit somebody. Let's turn off the sound, or it will be a little bit too loud for you. Then we have, let's maybe do eight players. Uh, I didn't show you the uh, min and max brightness yet, so this would be the maximum. And the minimum would be like that. But let's wait till we see a little bit more of the picture. Just let me press OK, whatever, I don't care, and go. So this is the minimum of brightness, and then we have the max. Um, estimated battery life here is 10 and a half hours if you are using it in idle mode, so no wireless, just text, words, stuff like that. If you play on it, so 100% usage, it would be around 5 hours. And VO, um, World of Warcraft runs with around 5 frames per second to 10, as you can see in another video. But for general usage with wireless LAN, it should be about 7 hours. So this was the HP Mini 210. For Endeavor TV, this was Balash Gal, and check out our tests on endeavor.com for more information about this device. And of course, our YouTube channel Endeavor TV for more videos of the unboxing and how to upgrade your RAM.